wanted to talk to you about a pretty basic concept today that I've been getting a lot of questions about, and it's crate training. Either a how-to, how to address barking, or why we do it. So I kind of just want to, I wrote some notes up here, and I just want to address each one individually. So basically, why do we crate train? I like to start really young with a dog, because I want to introduce them to the idea that separation is not a bad thing. Believe it or not, we get a lot of dogs here for separation anxiety, and so at a very young age, I want to kind of instill that in the dog, that it's okay to be far away from us, it's okay to be contained, and that it's a good thing. Um, now, you can still introduce this principle as, as an adult dog, um, but it might take a little bit of extra work than it does with a puppy. But it's still something that's really important. So separation is not a bad thing. And my second thing is safety. Um, when I'm away from my dogs, I want to make sure that they're not getting into anything that can be dangerous. Um, I don't want them destroying my house or chewing up something that they can ingest and, and be deadly or, or something like that. So safety purposes. Um, also, if you're traveling, it is nice. I, I have gone to dog seminars before and taken my dogs with me. It's nice to be able to put them in a crate in the hotel room or in the car. Um, just really helps with that safety purpose. So another thing, um, kind of a big deal, is it helps build focus and engagement. What it, what it teaches is that when the dog is out, it's interacting with you and you're being able to coach them. You're able to have that supervision and, and tell the dog, yes, I like this interaction with what you're doing, and no, I don't want you doing that. So you're able to really coach them. It helps with if you have kids at home, um, helps interactions on walks with other dogs, and helps, again, going back to the destructive behaviors in the home, and it helps with that. If you're not there to see a bad reaction or a bad behavior, um, your timing is off. You're not going to be able to, to really communicate because dogs are so in the present by the time you catch it. If you're too late, you've already missed the opportunity. So you're able to coach them. And you build a lot of focus and engagement. Dogs learn that when they're out, they're working with you and, and they're, they're a lot more excited um, to be out with you. So it also does help with potty training. Um, young or old, both, both dogs, I, I do this with potty training. Because again, if you don't catch it, we're too late. Timing is really, really important with anything with, with dog training. So that's kind of a little bit of why I crate train. There's a lot more reasons, but those are kind of the big things. Um, I get a lot of people that ask me, well, my dog's barking in the crate, what do I do? So my biggest thing is you don't want to reinforce it. A big mistake people make is the puppy's crying in the crate and they go let it out. Well, we're, we're kind of teaching the dog if you're a little bit chaotic, get out of the crate. So it actually builds more anxiety in the kennel. Um, I also know, I've also seen people like put their fingers in the kennel or sit next to the dog or sleep on the floor next to the crate to kind of self, to help the dog soothe. Um, yeah, it's kind of defeating the purpose of, of introducing the idea to the, uh, the separation of the good things. So we're actually kind of being counterproductive when we're doing that. Um, you can correct it. So, um, if you're using e-collar training, it's not a bad idea to do a little bit of tax on the e-collar, um, or it's not a bad idea to invest in a bark collar if it's, if it's really chaotic. So don't feel like you can't correct it. Some people argue that, but I, you can't correct it. Um, I do like to create a positive association in the kennel, so a lot of the times I'll feed meals in the kennel, especially if the dog is new to the, the idea. Put the dog in the crane, give them their meal, um, or like, when they go in there, good things happen. The last point is let them out when they're calm. So if they are being crazy and you let them out, we're, we're kind of, again, going back to like we're reinforcing that and we don't want to do that. If the dog cries a little bit, just wait till it's calm. It will calm down and you can learn to self-soothe. And at the end of the day, it's going to really help your dog have less anxiety um, and, and really help your life a lot. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let us know. Have a good day.